Hi everyone, it's Glory and I'm back for a quick, shorter version of my How I Healed My Stenosis Naturally video. Some people say they can't hear me, um, other people can hear me if they stick around and listen long enough. So let me do a quick rundown. I've had a lot of people reach out to me for the article by Dr. Deborah Katchen about the homeopathic remedy that she uses with her spinal stenosis patients. Now I have what's called foraminal stenosis. Suddenly one day I had pain in 2014. It didn't go away. I went to the doctor um, specialist and he prescribed six weeks of physical therapy, of course, and I've been to this physical therapist, it was fantastic, but I still had pain after six weeks, so they had the MRI and that's where I got the diagnosis. In spinal stenosis, the um, the stenosis is in the spinal column and it's usually uh, pieces of bony growth that are growing, that have grown inside the spine. So then the nerve runs inside of that and it gets impinged or partially impinged and that's where you get the pain. And I've heard spinal stenosis is even more painful than what I have. In foraminal stenosis, Think about the spine, and then there are all kinds of nerves coming out the side. So uh, on me, it's in the lower part of the spine on my right, with this is this side. And um, so some of the nerves are slightly impinged on the side coming out, but we didn't know if there was any bony growth in there because of the homeopathic treatment that a friend of mine who's a chiropractor sent me an article about when I was still in pain and about the time I was finishing going to physical therapy but just doing the exercises at home. Um, you know, at first I thought, yeah, right, homeopathy, I'm not gonna do that. But then I, I printed out the article and I read it and I thought, oh my gosh, this is an MD who figured out from some other studies that had been done to help cattle, or maybe it was cows, um, and she figured out what two homeopathic ingredients fit this. So if you would like a copy of the article, it's not available online, but I will email it to you. And if you click the description box below the video, um, at this time in YouTube, you click show more and you open up the, the description box below the video and my email address will be there. If you email me and ask for the article about spinal stenosis, we're by Dr. Deborah Katchen, I will send that to you by email. And I suggest that you print it out, like I did way back then, and take notes. You can see I've taken notes and I've highlighted. And also, I wanna tell you that the two products used, um, I'm gonna tell you about them right now, but also I have links to them in the description box below. So hopefully those links still work by the time you see this, because sometimes, I think I found them on Amazon, and sometimes Amazon sellers and the fulfillment come and go. So, the first thing is something called Hecla Lava. I bought it from this company, hang on, I gotta tell you the name, uh, from Boiron, B-O-I-R-O-N, and it's the 30C, and they're just these little tiny white pellets. They look like candy. And you don't touch them, you actually twist this and a little pellet falls in here and then you open up the cap and then what you're gonna do is get a jar that fits at least six ounces of water. Now I bought this jar at a craft store like a Michaels or a Joanne's or Hobby Lobby. And you put in six ounces of, I use filtered water, um, clean water. I dump the little one pellet into here I put the top on and I put it in the refrigerator and it dissolves overnight. And I take one teaspoon of this liquid in the morning and in the evening. So the thing is, I haven't had to travel for business since I've been doing this, which is good. Um, yeah, so <laughs> the thing is you, you need to take it morning and evening and it has to be refrigerated. So good luck getting on a plane with that. You just have to start over and make another one wherever you're going. I guess if you're taking a plane. And the thing is, I haven't had to replenish this because the six ounces of water taking one teaspoon a day lasts for a long time. When it runs out, I clean the jar, scrub it out with hot water and soap. I rinse it out, I dry it, I put it in another six ounces of water and another pellet, 
put it in the refrigerator and within a few hours it'll be dissolved and I can start all over again. So this is going to last me a long time. I still have a lot of pellets in here. Now the second thing that she has us take is something, I got to tell you that because they always go by this short name. Uh, la, 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 la. It's called, oh I'm going to butcher the name, Calcarea Florica 6X. But it goes by Calc Floor. Again, listed in the description box below. I buy this brand from Highlands and it's the number one, as you can see on here. So Calc Floor 6X, the number one. And um, I take four of these. They're tiny little pellets and they look like this. That's how small they are. And you put them under your tongue and they dissolve within 10 seconds. And because I take some other supplements every morning, I use a pill box, a weekly pill box. I put all my supplements in here, including the four kelp floor. And it's the last supplement I take out of all of them they take. Like I said, put them under your tongue. They're tasteless or sweet. I don't know what they are, but they're not bitter. They dissolve. Now I so let me tell you the time frame so you can have some hope. <laughs> Plus, we like I said, we didn't know if this would work. And I emailed Dr. Katchen because her email address is available and she didn't reply. But then my friend, Dr. Denise Shostak, who's also into homeopathy, called her and set up, and uh, Dr. Katchen called her back. And Denise said, I have this patient. She has foraminal stenosis, not spinal stenosis, do you think this treatment will work for her? And Dr. Cashin said, mm, I don't know. It depends on if she has the bony growth. But it, when you read this article, she's going to tell you about several of her patients who at the time she'd written this article had spinal stenosis. They did this treatment. Some of them were immobile. They couldn't even leave the house because they were in so much pain. And the treatment worked for them. So let me tell you the time frame of mine. So the pain started in June. I went to the doctor mid-July. I started physical therapy in July, late July. This is all in 2014. By October, I was going to be finishing up going to physical therapy, but I do the exercises every day. I still do. I have to do them for the rest of my life, and that's okay. Uh, but I was still in quite a bit of pain. I mean, to the point where it would just... It would be my turn to talk somewhere and I would in a meeting or something and I would just go like that because I would have the nerves going down my leg and ugh. So that was still happening in October and this is when I started the homeopathic treatment. These two ingredients, October 2014. Okay, so keep that in your mind. It was toward the end of the month. And it was so cheap, which you'll see when you check the prices of these two products, I thought, I have nothing to lose except a few dollars, so I'm just going to do it. And I'm not even going to judge it till April, so I'm going to get a minimum of six months. And I will tell you, by February, so October to February, I was feeling better. Not 100%, but I was having days where I didn't have pain, maybe had a little pressure, but not the pain. And by April, I was feeling so much better. And by that time, that was into 2015, I would say I had no pain. Sometimes I get the pressure, even yesterday, a little bit of pressure back um, in my lower back where the foraminal stenosis is. But it's just pressure. It's not pain. So between the exercise, exercises, and... Um, this homeopathic treatment, it really worked for me. And I think if you have spinal stenosis and you ask me for this article and you print it out and read it and you go over it, you're going to realize you have nothing to lose by trying this other than a few dollars. And I would say give it a minimum of six months and see where you go. Now, I still take this. I asked Dr. Shastek, you know, should I still keep taking it? I'm afraid to stop because we don't know. You know, the people with the spinal stenosis in Dr. Katchen's article stopped taking it. They were, because the bony growth went away. But on me, we don't know. So someday I might experiment with that, but I'm afraid. So it doesn't cost me that much to keep taking it. And the only thing I've had to repurchase was this. I buy the bottle with 500 because I'm taking four a day. All right. So send me an email. 
if you want the article, give it a try. Now the other thing I want to tell you is that I was measured recently for height and I gained a half inch in height, which is unheard of at my age. So if you'd like to check that out, click one, click the um, image on the right side of your screen to check out that video. And I also have one on the four pelvic correction exercises that I was given by my physical therapist. Thanks for watching. Bye.